Hello everyone and welcome to the video lecture series of mobile application development. Students, in our previous session, we talked about that how can we add a fragment as well as how the backstack method works. Whenever you try to add fragment like 1, 2 and 3, then we have implemented a method that is known as add, back, add to backstack. Fine. By using that method, we can add it or we are able to add it a fragment into the backstack. So whenever you try to remove or whenever you try to click on a back button, the fragment 3, then fragment 2, then fragment 1 will be popped out from the stack and then you get back to your activity and then at the last point you will found your home screen. So now what happens if you do not able to write down the add to backstack method or what happens if if you cannot able or if you do not want to implement add to backstack method. So students at that time we need to implement um, another method. And for that, we just need to try to remove our fragment. So, let's see how can we remove the fragments without using back stack. Hi, this is your instructor, Janice Shah. So, let's begin with today's topic. Today, we are going to see two different things. Number one is how can we remove the fragments? And number two is how can we replace the fragments? So, what is the difference between exactly the remove and the replacement? Fine. So, let's start with the today's topic. So, at the very first beginning, students to remove the program and for replacing the fragments, our previous program remains as it is. So, here, let me show you. See, here, our previous code is remains as it is. Whatever we have seen that what we did in the previous session, we created the three different fragments. For example, fragment one, two, and three. Then, according to it, we have our XML files for that. Then, in activity main.java file students, we write to code to add the fragment. We use fragment manager. We use fragment transaction. So, with the usage of fragment manager students, we have created fragment transaction object and fragment transaction. We need to call add the two backstack method and such like this we use a add fragment in backstack now what we need to do we just need to change a code to remove the fragment as well as we just need to implement a method which is known as on back button praised fine so these are the two different methods which is that we need to focus on number one is to write down a code to remove the fragment Okay, so when you try to remove the fragment, right now we are not going to implement the backstack method. That's why the add fragment method code will be changed. Okay, so if you have your laptop open up, then you have already done the previous code. So now, it, now you just need to comment your code, which is known as add fragment method. We are going to implement a new add fragment method for this. And second one is we need to implement another method which is known as on back button pressed method. See, this on back button pressed method is already there, but we just need to override. Fine. So we are overriding this method on back button pressed, and the project structure will remain same. We are not going to add anything else. So here it is. This is a code for the on back pressed method. So what I did see. First, this will write over at a method which is known as on back pressed and create an object of fragment, a general fragment. Like fragment fragment is equal to fragment manager dot find fragment by id r dot id dot fragment container. If you remember, if you remember in activity underscore main dot xml file, we have a fragment container on, on which we need to implement our various fragments. Fine. So that is a ID is a fragment container. This is a frame layout ID. Now, if your fragment is not equal to null, that means there is no fragment over there, then first you need to start your transaction. So for that, we just need to initialize a fragment transaction over here. Then write down a method which is known as remove fragment. Okay. So when you click on the back button, the fragment is removed. Okay. And then just write down the commit else super.onbackpressed method. 
So here, what you need to do, you just need to find out your fragment ID from the fragment container, map list both of them, and then call a remove fragment method. Okay, such like this, when you click on a back button, when you click on a back button, please, the fragment will be removed. Next, the code add fragment method. Now, I already told you that your previous add fragment method code contains add to backstack method, which is not going to be uh, used further. So, sir, what is the change in the new fragment? Let's see. See, this is our add fragment method. In the previous session, what we did, we just created a switch case, and according to switch case, we take fragment one, two, or three. Now, right now, students, the same like that, we have created a if and else blocks. What I take, I just take a initialize object of a fragment. This is a general fragment class. Then get map a fra fragment with a fragment container. Okay, so map the ID of the fragment with a fragment container. Now I'm going to check that if if this fragment is object of sample fragment one, then it becomes the object of sample fragment two. Obviously, if if you are on a fragment number one screen, then you need to show fragment number two screen. So what you need to check if 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 this container if this container contains a fragment if this container contains a fragment of one sample fragment one that means if object is sample fragment one then we need to implement or we need to add another fragment with the object fragment number two. Same like that else if if it's a code of sample fragment two. Then we just need to add up sample fragment 3. I'll say if, if we, it has the sample fragment 3, then we need to implement sample fragment 1. And else, same like the previous one. In a default case, we just need to implement sample fragment 1 itself. So, sir, is there anything changed? No change. See, this stanza is changed and this stanza is also changed. Why? Because here in this particular coding part, I did not implement a method which is known as add to backstack because this is not a backstack. Fine. So here will be if the fragment transaction created an object of fragment transaction, call a method, add, pass a container, comma object. See, instead of passing a specific object, I'm just going to pass a simple general fragment object. Now, if my content, if my fragment is one, then this fragment object becomes two. If my fragment is two, this fragment object becomes three. If my fragment is three currently. Then this fragment object becomes one default. So just put on a commit button. This is a general fragment class, and this is the same steps of transaction to add the fragment as the previous program. Fine. So there is no much change over here. We have just changed two things, nothing else. So now what to do? This is all about the Remove fragments. Now, what about the replace? So, students, to replace the fragment, you just need to change a method instead of add, you just need to write down the replace. So, what happens when you try to replace a fragment? See, this is the fragment number three. Just emulate it. This is the fragment number three. Okay. When you click on a back button, when you sorry, this is the fragment number one. Okay. Now, when you click on an add button, the fragment number one is as it is, two will be added. When you click on another add button, Another add button, the fragment number two remains as it is, the fragment number three will be added. But, but what happens when you in the replace? In the replace, when you click on add button, the fragment number one is gone and only fragment number two is there. Again, click on add button, fragment number two is gone, only the fragment number three is there. Fine. So, such like this, students, the replace works. Okay. So, now how we can implement this program? Let me show you with the live demo program lecture so i'm just going to students open up the code for that just wait for a while okay so what we have let me just show you remind you the whole file structure here we have the xml main file it contains a text view a button and the frame layout this text view we have used this text view for to check the count of back stack okay Next, this is the add fragment button. This is the frame layout. This is ID fragment container. Fine, because in this particular fragment container, we need to add our fragment. That's why. Okay, now this is the sample fragment one code. I didn't change anything. I just write over the sample gravity and the text one sample fragment two sample fragment. Three. Fine. Now, what about the 
Here we have created some uh, final string for this particular program. If you didn't write this, then it's also fine. This program is same as it is the previous code. Okay. Take a button, take a text view, then on create, then fragment manager, add backstack, change listener. See, this particular code is not going to be used right now because you are not going to add fragment into the backstack. That's why this method will never gonna call. Okay. So what we need to focus? We just need to focus over here. There is a button, add button fragment. Okay, button add fragment dot set on click listener. Then on click, we just need to call the method that is add fragment. So this particular add fragment method. So here we have the add fragment new method. Okay. So this is my previous code. In which we have a, take a switch case, case 0, case 1, case 2, and default. Then case transaction, already use add to backstack null, and then write down commit. Now, instead of that, we need to write down a new method when you try to add a fragment without backstack. Fine, that's why the add fragment method, fragment, fragment object. This is a general fragment manager. Okay, we just need to bind our fragment container over here. How see this is activity XML file students? This is our fragment container object. So we just need to bind our fragment container object over here. Fine. So nothing new over there. So now we just need to check whether the instance of sample fragment one, then try for two. Else if if it is two, go for three. Else if it is three, then go for one. Default case is also one. This code remains as it is. Instead of replace, I just need to call a method that is known as add fragment method. Now, what to do? So, so this is the code for the removing the fragments. We just need to implement a on back pressed method. So, fragment fragment is equal to fragment manager. First, need to again need to uh, mapping the XML ID with the new fragment object in the Java file. So, if it's not null. Then start the transaction, remove the fragment, and just complete the transaction by calling the commit method. Fine. So else super dot on back pressed method is called. So students, now I'm going to show the replacement and the removing both of both fragments live. Okay. So for that, I just need to mirror my screens and my camera gets off. So do not worry, I'm still here. Okay. So let me run this particular code. Okay, students, let me run this particular code. So here it is. My application is going to start in a very soon. Okay, students, so the application is just going to install soon. So let me just uh, install it. Uh, this process is still going on. Just wait for a minute. Okay, so finally, your application is launched successfully. See now, when I'm going to click on the add fragment button, my backstack count is going to be increased or not. Quickly students just tell me whenever I'm going to click on the add fragment button, is my fragment backstack count is going to be increased or not? Just tell me. Yes or no? No. Why? Because we are not going to add a fragment in a backstack. Okay. So when I click on the add fragment button, fragment one is successfully added over here students. Fine. When I click on again on add fragment button, the fragment number two is added so when i click on a back button first we get back to one then we get back to activity screen so now you may surprise that sir here we didn't use the back stack then how or about the one the two will be added because students we call the add fragment method see here the add method fine now when we talk about the removing the fragment so whenever we click on a back button Whenever we click on a back button, the whole fragment will be removed, but the previous fragment is still there. So only the fragment which is added, the last is only removed. Okay. So when I click on add fragment button, one is added, two is added, three is added. Now again, when I click on add fragment button, so it will call the fragment number one is a by default. So see, on the click event of a back pressed, the fragment is gone. When I again click on a back button, the activity gets stopped. 
okay so this is how students it works so now again let me click on the application it will run so here it is one click on a back button it's activity screen now it's a home screen fine this is how students you can use the add fragment method and you can do the remove fragment whenever we click on a back button you just need to for removing the fragment you just need to implement the on back pressed method now how to check the replace so i just need to go into click on the replace instead of over this okay this is my replace method let me run this activity again so now just wait for a few minutes that will uh, run and we can able to see the output so it is asking me for the terminate the pro currently ongoing process yes i'm going to i want to terminate it now just wait for a minute students so finally my new activity the new application is launched now when i click on add fragment button the fragment one is added when i click on a back button that it is on activity screen so you may wonder that sir there is no change it's the same as the previous one wait 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 for a minute students let me show it again see add fragment button one add fragment two add fragment three now well, in the previous one when i click on a back button it, it, it should show me the two but this is a replacement this is a replace method that means it must show directly the activity screen see here it is what we are going to do we just going to add no we are replacing the previous fragment with a new one that's why this is how the replace method works so i hope uh, you get the better idea about the replacement of the fragment okay and how well we can remove the fragment if you have still any doubt then please feel free to ask me thank you so much